everybody. Welcome to Go To Hydroponics. We are in my basement, which is in lovely Wisconsin, of course. It is, what, mid-November, and there's still no snow on the ground. Last year, we had snow, like, before November, which blows my mind, but can't, can't complain there. <laughs> no snow, no shoveling, no coldness. It's good. Shh. Anyways, a um, few things with my peppers I have to go over with you guys. Um, how Some of you guys were asking about how I winterized them, number one. Two, my aphid problem and how I'm going to get rid of them because they're starting to kill my plants. If I don't act soon, they're going to be dead pretty soon. Um, so yeah, let's get to that. Um, show, you, show you what I got over here. So let's kind of start from scratch here. So this is a 400 watt metal halide bulb. It also can go to a 400 watt high pressure sodium, but right now I have it as a metal halide bulb. So these are my pepper plants that I brought inside from outside. There's five of them. Um, these were actually growing in, I had these all in tomato cages outside, but the problem was, is that these were actually getting so big that I couldn't get the tomato cages off them without cutting them. So I had, well, I think I had to cut three tomato cages just to get these things out. So I ripped the other tomato cages off. I slowly kind of wiggled them, got them off. And then I took those out of the ground, stuck these in pots, and then I changed the soil out for actual indoor potting soil instead of dirt but as you see there there's two of them with actual garden dirt instead of potting soil that's because i got lazy and i haven't changed it out yet but now with bringing them inside it's great and everything i did it last year it worked perfectly this year having problems with aphids what i've realized with the soil is i think well like last year what i was saying is i brought them in no problem grow they grew perfectly. This year, got problems with aphids. I'm assuming it's because of the soil. I brought the soil from outside in, and then I didn't change the soil into potting mix right away, and then I still have regular garden soil yet, and I'm pretty sure that's what they're growing in, and it's just giving me a headache right now. <laughs> so I really need to get rid of them. I've been dealing, them with, dealing with them for a few weeks now. Um, so the one day I came down here, Looked at my plants and I was like, wow, what is, what is all this white stuff on here? Like, I thought it was kind of a dust or whatever. Because we do some woodworking and, you know, other how-to projects in the basement. Well, I started looking a little closer and a little closer. And I look under there and there's little tiny bugs. They're, I mean, size of crumbs. It's ridiculous. But there's a lot of them. And I was like, okay, I really need to do something about this. Look some stuff up line. Uh, tried a thing or two. Tried a little sample cleaner I got from a, st um, from a grocery store near me. But that didn't work out too well. Um, so... I went to the internet, looked up something, and we're going to try that recipe, and I'll tell you that, what the recipe is in a little bit, and then I'll also do a follow-up video on how it actually worked, or if it worked, because as you see, these pepper plants are losing a lot of leaves, and they do not look good at all. Like, this one has half the leaves on it, that one has, like, ten leaves on it, <laughs> they're all starting to get wilting, wilty and droopy, so this is not good. Okay, so let's actually show you what my aphids are look like on here. So as you see those, all those little white specks, those are aphids. Those are white aphids. Now, they hatch and lay eggs all the time. It's kind of ridiculous. And how I believe, I believe how they work is when the sun comes out, which is light, lights on, they go under leaves and hide because then they can't dry up, you know, and they survive a little longer that way. That's why you want to spray them when the lights are off or when you're turning the lights off to, one, make sure they come out and actually, like, get on to the um, insecticide and kill them. Yeah, as I mean, they're all over. I mean, this is this is, this is is bad. The other thing I have to do is clean the soil somehow too because I'm assuming the aphids are growing in there and then crawling up here and then eat my leaves and then it's a whole freaking mess. Um, one of the ones I tried doing was just, I heard water pressure could do it, so I took a little sprayer and I washed out every single leaf and I brought them back down here again, the second time bringing them back down here, and then that still didn't fix them. So now I really need to try something else. So I got some ingredients behind me, and I'm going to go over what that is. It's just a simple, non-toxic formula that I want because it's in my house. So we are going to use isopropylene alcohol, 250 milliliters. 70% works. I'm assuming 90 would work. It's just stronger. So I got 70%. Um, yeah, 250 milliliters. Next, Dawn dish soap. Blue stuff, this stuff is fantastic. Everybody loves this. Not the knockoff stuff, the real stuff. Um, this is 22 milliliters of this, which is a tablespoon and a half is what it, or 22, I think it was 22 and a half milliliters is equivalent to a tablespoon and a half. So a tablespoon and a half or 22 milliliters. 
22 milliliters of Dawn dish soap. Um, next you want to add is 250 milliliters of water. So it's 50, 50 alcohol and water. And then I'm going to add soap on top of that. The alcohol helps dissolve the soap into the system and kills the aphids as well. And then the water just kind of spreads everything out and makes it liquidy to actually be able to spray. I also have a spray bottle here that I'm going to use to apply to my plants. So let's get some water. Now we also need to add 250 milliliters of isopropylene alcohol. Plus make sure there's 250 and 250 plus 250 is 4 500. So now of course we need to add 250 milliliters of isopropylene alcohol. So 250 plus 250 equals 500 milliliters. So I'm going to fill this all the way up to the top, which is equivalent to two cups. really start to smell the alcohol oh my wow okay so i found my little shot glass or my little shot measuring glass here so we're gonna find uh, let's see like 20 milliliters right there we'll take some dish soap and we'll pour it in there and go just above the 20 line to make it about roughly 22 it doesn't need to be precise you know Okay, that's about right there. Look at that pretty blue. Love Dawn dish soap. Stuff works great anyways. Okay, dump that in there. As you see, it starts to mix and dissolve nicely. Okay, now we'll pour my little mixer bottle here, my little spray bottle. Just the camera so you guys can see. I'll try not to spill this. We're going to stir this up here so the soap gets dissolved, just in case I can't actually fit it all into my spray bottle. So we have even coverage of all the chemicals in here. Okay, that's relatively dissolved. Okay, so it does all f it fits perfectly in mine. Yeah, two thirds of it or so. Put the cap on. We're gonna shake it up just lightly, not a cr not a ton, because I don't wanna I don't want to be all well. I guess it's gonna be full of bubbles no matter what, right? So we're gonna shake it up, get it all till it fully dissolved, and we're gonna start spraying this on plants, and hopefully it starts killing my aphids because this is ridiculous. So let's get some of this spray pushed out through here. Make sure we're actually pumping out the mist of what I want it to be. We're just going to mist this heavily. And I have my light on just for you guys to see. The hard part is, is getting to make, or making sure you have, you're getting under all the leaves. That's the hard part because they stay under all those leaves. It's ridiculous. You guys do this indoors. I want to make sure you got a fan on or something because that gives off. A ridiculously strong odor of alcohol <laughs> and I'm assuming it's not that good to breathe in at high concentrations but it's better than um, toxic chemicals so we're gonna keep spraying this and hopefully I'll get even coverage on here as you can see I also got some house plants down here just spider plants and whatever and I think I'll lightly coat those as well just in case some of these got on there I don't I want to really get rid of these I want to save these pepper plants <laughs> the other thing I'm going to do is soak the roots pretty good with this stuff too. Hopefully kill off those aphids that are growing down there. So make sure you cover everything in the area. I'm going to bring you up close. Show you another leaf with a whole bunch of aphids on there. Look at all those white bumps. Those are all freaking aphids. <laughs> oh. So strong. So hopefully this does justice. Go through pretty well, but it's cheap and relatively easy to make. Okay, so as you can see behind me, I have my hydroponic grill light off. So I'm going to let that stuff soak in, hopefully kill those aphids, and do its justice so these plants can actually hopefully stay alive. But um, So I think that's about all for today. The next video I'll post, which will probably be relatively soon, because I want to show you guys the results and if it actually works, and what I'm going to do next if this doesn't work. <laughs> all 
I am crossing my fingers, hoping it. <coughs> Stuff is really strong. Um, crossing my fingers, hoping it really does work. So, I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know what your comments and thoughts are on this. Like, subscribe, comment. You do you. Over and out.